Hi Cancer, this is Shah speaking from Charlie's Angel Tarot and um, you are the second and I thought it was Taurus but I had to recheck it and it is you Cancer, you're the second that has the most um, thumbs up thank you very much for appreciating the video last week or this week I'm putting them out early so that you can watch them back again next week if you want to if you would like to sometimes I watch them I watch my videos back from other readers that I follow as well I do love the cards and I do love readings so I know your side of the story too but I never do readings for myself okay thank you very much for the thumbs up and for sharing with family and friends or colleagues please keep on doing that and please join me in the live on Monday Wednesday and Friday or whenever you like in in the week and I also ask answer questions uh, that are supported by super chats or super stickers a donation and if you would like an extensive reading then please um, have a look at the information below the video okay um, or in the right hand corner that white dot and there's also updates I've updated the website and you can see the video on the competition and on the reviews of my house uh, house of shadows the shadow lands the crystals um, the mirror truth a lenemon those are the cards that I'm using of late okay and uh, I love all my cards I've been blessed with many decks at this moment new ones so they the readings will be chopping and changing from week to week especially with the uh, cards that I uh, go into extensively now for anybody that is new welcome uh, please subscribe and hit the bell and again you're more than welcome to uh, join in in the live sessions like my cyber angels and then you can become a cyber angel officially when you've joined us in the live sessions and um, thank you very much for liking and sharing um, the this is the querent card this is the the nine card spread I do in extensive readings but I only go into it halfway because otherwise I'll be sitting here until the cows come home at least 45 minutes uh, if I do it quickly <laughs> and an hour or longer if I really go into it okay the readings are quite extensive of late but that's because they are showing me different things and also sometimes it takes a life of its own and my uh, my intuition starts working my psyche anyway I'll try to keep the introduction a bit shorter sorry um, we've got the querent or the overall energy Monday Wednesday Friday Saturday and Sunday and I take the cards around this card to clarify it and vice versa in each corner okay and that is how you get more information then you've got an angel feather card and a crystal card that will enhance you the energy of the crystal will heal you will sustain you hopefully and bring you less stress and more peace you can use it in meditation and you can wear the color uh, uh, or eat fruit of the color like if you've got a lot of blue or purples you can eat blue fruit or purple fruit or veggies okay so this is the reading from the 15th to the 21st of June and we're going into cancer at the end of this week so the energy will change will go into the sun sign of cancer the first card that you have you can take as the querent card or you can take it as the overall energy and the Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is Leo, but don't exclude Aries or Sagittarius. She's a lady that knows what she wants and she goes for it. 
Okay, you can't see her face here, and I think it's beautiful. It is the she. This is the front of her, so she's hiding her face. It's a lot like the uh, Enchanted Dream Terror. Uh, a lot of the queens you don't see their faces. Um, they uh, like the Queen of Swords is looking in a bookcase, and the Queen of Wands, uh, she's got her hair over her face, like the kings in this deck. Right, they're not there, but they are. It's, in other words, it's the symboli symbolic uh, symbolism of the card. She's a lady that is creative. She's passionate about what she wants and what she do uh, and also in her love life. She's passion, 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 and action. She's also very creative with her ideas and ways and manners. So she will get what she wants. So this you might be meeting a Leo or a Sagittarius or Aries, but it could also be that you are very, very active and that you've taken a page out of her book, that you have an idea or you've got something that you want and you're going to go for it no matter what. On Monday, Cancer, you have the King of Cups and this is you. If this is not you, the King of Cups, sorry, it's the Knight of Cups. I keep on making this mistake. Um, it's the Knight of Cups. This could be you, um, but I don't think so because it's the, the Knight brings news. So you might be receiving an offer of love or an offer about something that you're passionate about. This could be a job. This could be a new hobby. Or you might uh, find out if you want to get pregnant and you're passionate about that or you love to be pregnant then you might be receiving the news that you are this could come from a uh, cancer this could come from a Scorpio or a uh, Pisces you could get a job offer or a love offer as well Wow Oh, it's working again. I've got to take my jacket and uh, my blouse off. I'm sitting here in my t-shirt. With long sleeves. And it's been cold all day. There you are. I've got bare arms. I'm sitting here in a t-shirt. Hi. So, here you go. It sounds a bit <laughs> weird if I say I'm taking my shirt off. <laughs> anyway. Anyway, you've got good news coming, definitely. You're going to get what you want by the looks of it, because look at this. If you want to get married, then you will be married, because this is the wedding card, or a new house. You might rent a new house or buy a new house. If you are getting married, um, then this is the marriage card. So good news, you might get that proposal of love. Okay. It could also be that you're invited to um, somebody else's wedding. Or there might be other celebrations, as this is the celebration card. If you buy a house, you might have a housewarming party. Four is stability, proper foundations. So if you do go to a wedding or a gathering and celebration, you will meet people there. You might be networking. And these f uh, um, partnerships or friendships or... Um, relationships will be built on proper foundations now that is on Wednesday at fri on Friday you have the fi five of cups and I think you're moving on um, because you might if you get this card you might be thinking about the past or longing for the past you can't cry over spilled milk and I don't think you are crying uh, about spilled milk I think you're realizing that you're lucky that what you want is going to happen. Good things are coming your way and you are, have taken the power now because it's also really lying in the line of present. Um, this is usually past if I do an extended reading and future but it is in the now. You've taken the steps um, and you've looked behind You've done the sorrow bit, 
and longing for it, whatever, you've moved on. You are changing the present and you're changing the future. At the weekend, it confirms it. What I'm saying is right, because you haven't lost your head, okay? It's still lying there, so you're going to be putting it back and you're going to get another perspective which you've had, because that is really the advice of the Five of Cups. Don't look back. You can't change the past, you can only change the present and the future, and I think you're doing that. And the cat is saying, move on, go on, move on. Put your head back on your shoulders. In other words, come out of your head. Don't think about the past. You are standing in your strength. She does. And that is you, the querent, okay? You are standing in your strength. You know what you want and you're going to put your head back on and you're moving forward. Take that leap of faith to this new beginning. Wow. And again, confirmation. You've got the Seven of Pentacles. The Seven of Pentacles. You have sown the seeds and they're coming to fruition. Look, they're not apples, they're money. So there might be a job coming, there might be a, a love partnership coming, there will be more money in the kitty, because if you think do things together, the life will be easier. Wow, look at this, there's an offer coming. Um, you've sown the seeds, perhaps you've manifested or visual, visualized a new partner and they're coming in, wow. And you've got what you want and you're taking a leap of faith your f your uh, seeds are coming to fruition you might not see it coming because it might happen unexpectedly and you felt caught up in the web okay but you've broken free because look your hands they're free so break that web take the blindfold off look around you not just in front of you and walk through those swords. There's enough space. Get out of your head. You've done the manifesting. You're going to take that leap of faith. The seeds are coming to fruition. The news is coming. Wow. And with this, celebrations. You can't go wrong. If you've been in a judicial situation, you will have justice. Now, justice also represents Libra, okay? So it could be a Libra that you're m match uh, getting the offer from, okay? It could be a water sign, it could be a Libra. It could be the King of Pentacles, it could be Taurus. So it's Libra, Leo, Taurus. But don't exclude Virgo or Capricorn. Okay, Cancer. Now, uh, justice, justice. Perhaps you might be getting news about justice if you're in a judicial situation. Or you might uh, be out of balance. You might be out of balance. Okay. And so you will get news that will bring you back into balance and make you happy. Uh, yahoo! And you'll be celebrating. Wow. You didn't see that one coming. <laughs> okay. Now. We've got the King of Pentacles. So the King of Pentacles. It could be about an investment. That went wrong. And you didn't see it coming. To fruition. Because you've planted the seeds. Right. So. Your investment. You might be going to get news. That your investment is going to bring its returns that you were right right and that you have the right to ha see that return or get that return so abundance is coming in for you it could be a job like I said but it could also be love abundance can also be love for long term so it could be with the tourist if you're getting married if that's what you want okay you're forgetting about the past. You're moving on. You've invested into your future. 
with durability in mind and long term. Okay, because Pentacles, he's got the golden touch, so everything he touches that is you, or she, in this case, has the status of the king. You've been through a lot, you've invested in a lot, you've learned a lot, and you've moved on. You know that everything comes to an end, and you make a new beginning. And you've invested in this for the long term, and it's going to be successful. Wow! You've changed the present and your future. You're going for it. Absolutely like the Queen. She wants, she'll get. <laughs> okay. She can be very forceful though. She's very, I want. But it's got as good, everything has got as good side and it's bad side. So long you do it in the right way, it's good and nobody gets hurt, then there will always be justice. Now you didn't see this coming, like I said. No. But you have changed, okay? You've taken that blindfold off, and you wanted a new beginning, and you're taking that leap of faith. Good on you. Now, Taurus. You've got the burnt orange angel feather, an open door, like I said, a new beginning, wow. Number four is really a new beginning, because a marriage is going up the, to the next level, which is a new beginning from uh, being alone, living together, being engaged and getting married, that's a new beginning, you're not alone anymore, you're forming a partnership, an open door. Okay. The angels ask you to be very observant, as you are to be presented with an exciting opportunity. Like I said, you've taken the advice of taken, taking the blindfold off. You're looking around you. You're very observant. You're seeing things coming. You haven't got the tower, so it's not unexpected. And then you have number 18, that becomes a 9, that's an ending. And you've got clear, crisp, uh, crisp, clear quartz crystal. The essential meaning is the amplification, magnification, expansion, growth. Like I said, you, uh, I'll, I don't know where to put it. I'll put it down here, then you can see the card. because I like to relate the cards whilst I'm reading, okay? This card is amplifying, expanding, so you might be moving from an apartment to a house with a garden. You can see all gardens around it. Investing for the long term and durability. A house is durable. Relationships are also durable. Amazing. You might be signing legal documents for a house or a marriage certificate. Okay, so you're becoming from one to, you're expending. When clear quartz spirit appears, quartz spirit appears, it is time to focus on growth and expansion. Whatever you appreciate, love, abundance, or anything else will grow simply by your observing it and feeling gratitude for it. Sorry, the cat is eating something. Look at what I've taken off my cat. That is a, a, a tie for the hair. If she had eaten that, she think most probably thinks it's meat or something. I don't know, she's got a stitch loose. <laughs> Anyway, she's beautiful. She's my precious Siamese matis. She usually sits with me when I do Sagittarius. She always comes when I sit and do Sagittarius. Okay. And she sits on the cards and then after we start all over again. Sorry about guy about that guys and girls. Okay. So, um we were here. Whatever you appreciate love, abundance, or anything else, 
will grow simply by your observing it and feeling gratitude for it this is sowing the seeds and they're growing and like I said they're no longer apples they're going into money are you paying attention to all that is good in your life now you will be that's what you're moving towards okay clear chords spirit brings the message that you will amplify whatever you focus on there you are news okay and you focus on long term and durability be mindful of what receives the bulk of your notice so be careful of what you wish or what you want find what is healing and nurturing and what fosters your well-being express your gratitude for the bounty that is yours and it will expend whatever makes you feel happy and alive do more of it so meditate contemplate and visualize manifest and evaluate now in relationships because we have the marriage card I'm going to also do a relationship bit and I'm doing that in the last two as well um, it's easy to magnify the flaws in others and forget to reflect on where you might need to grow when clear quartz spirit appears it's a sign for you to turn your attention to all that is wonderful in the people you care about in yourself and in your relationships grow what is good grow what is working no one can be all things to all people at all times so cut yourself and your partner some slack today celebrate you are and what you experience so celebrate what you are and your experience in your relationships that helps you feel loved and appreciated and share that celebration with others say thank you to the people in your life who make you feel in so many ways different and better the prosperity message is clear quartz spirit comes bearing energetic growth and expansion what do you love what do you deserve choose well so that you that the seeds you water will grow to a bumper crop wow that's the seven of pentacles of just what you hoped for invest time in activities that you value so that you can increase your fulfillment and prosperity abundance in your natural state and quartz crystal can help you to back to bring you back to it so notice what feels healthy good and rooted long term durability in the strong foundation you can expend upon it with the help of the continuous universe or the divine the appearance of clear quartz spirit signifies certain opportunities that lead to your greater good whatever you place your attention on will grow be certain you want it to so if you th thoughts is powerful and thoughts is also a way of manifesting so think about it beautifully nicely positively and it will grow it will happen so be careful what you wish for that is the message here today okay my darlings I hope you've enjoyed that I did and please give me the thumbs up and share with family and friends again and see whether you'll be the first one next week okay take care and I love you 
Thank you for showing your appreciation. And I hope to see you in the life. Ciao, ciao.